Let's get this organized, shall we? Creating a pantry. White paint provides a clean look, making it look fresh and widening the vision even with just small space. And we are utilizing the space under the stairs, which is more a triangular space. It is challenging, but I know it's going to be super fun. So let's get this started, shall we? I cleaned and hoovered, dusted the whole area, steamed to remove stubborn dirt and stains and killing the germs and getting ready for an everyday use with groceries in. So the first thing what I did was to measure up this tiny little L-shaped area to the top length before the curve. Very important to have shelves which will provide plenty of storage space and keeping things visible and easily accessible to reach out to. Now we have this very old bookshelf in Shreya's room which is far too big in size so we took the help of a carpenter who was working next door to cut it to the measurement from top and we have used the top two shelves which is now as an additional shoe rack in the utility area. Now there is a damage in this shelf at the back which can be easily covered. The whole of the bookshelf is still in a very good condition that I didn't even think of giving it away. This shelf fits in perfectly and still allowing us to move in and move out easily. Now starts the exciting bit to arrange. I have a set of three boxes. We do eat a lot of millets at home. I have gathered all of them into one box plus including a few leftover bags into the same so that they are together in one place making it all easy to use on an everyday. These half bags of rice are always bothering me. Now I have decided to give them a box as well keeping it covered. Let's just admit the fact that we all have those half bags of chapati ka atta remaining right? The best way to fit all of it in is to give it a good shake. It does settle in allowing more space after a good shake and I managed to fit all of it in. There is a slight additional space on all the lids that I turn them around to the front which helps to open the lid. Now I also make it a point to save up this bag by trimming it straight away now and keeping it ready for making papad this summer. It's big in size and just perfect having the texture that is better to save it up now and I pin it up on both the ends. I have saved up these glass Nescafe jars big in size and have also gathered and collected these honey glass jars. Healthy family fact about us, we end up eating 1 kg of honey in 10 days time. Yes, we do. And these jars are of a very good quality, thick airtight but the only problem is the sticker that annoys me i've tried it keeping it in the dishwasher but these honey jars have very strong adhesive on them so in a big container today i add in baking powder and hot water dipping them in and soaking them in hot water for two hours time in the meantime i gather all the trays at home big to small pile them up and keep it on the top shelf with the bottom part of the staircase almost reaching. I have two cookie boxes here. In one of them, I place all kinds of medicine and the best time to discard all the expired ones as well. Keeping in a box like this holds all of them in one place, including the syrup syringes as well, to big bottles and also can fit in many of the medical bits and bobs into the same storage bags, which otherwise would have taken more space spreading around. I also keep the travel medical bag in the same box. In a separate pouch, I have cotton and bandage supplies, keeping it covered. In the next cookie box, I place all the new packs, groceries, which are not opened as yet. In a cane basket, I place all kinds of cookie cutters and chocolate mould to cake decoration items to oil dispensers as well. I can actually arrange the shelf height to what I need. So I create more space and height for the next shelf. And also to cover the damage, I place the trekking bottles which are occasionally used. 
along with all kinds and different varieties of bottles at home at the back when we need them we know where they are and in the front i have these containers that i had bought long time back and i'm still using them to store different varieties of dal and grains in a big box i have all kinds of party cutleries paper plates paper cups napkins we haven't had a party for such a long time that everything has been stocked up i place this box right at the bottom to the corner paper bags birthday bags goodie bags i use them reuse them and i feel there's nothing wrong about it in fact we are saving up our own planet by reusing many of the things from small to big i gather and stack all of them in one big bag in fact i have two that i keep very close to the shelf i have this electric space stove that i'm keeping right at the back cookie tin boxes that i have given a good wash and placing icons and all different kinds of birthday packing that i fancy doing for all my dear ones birthdays i keep them all together in these cookie containers that i place on the top shelf these are the same bubble wraps that i have been using past many many years during my travel to india i haven't paid a single penny in buying any of these sheets these are some of the new ones that have come from recent buys that i gather in a bundle and i carry this bundle in my cargo bags when i go to india and on my return journey i use them for all my packing and just reuse them again every time i go you must have known me by now i love wrapping presents and keeping them in a tub is the best way to keep them neat and tidy in one place typical me i also keep the vacuum brushes in here just perfectly fitting in now working on these jars with the stubborn stickers i use a stainless steel scrub with liquid detergent on to get rid of sticker completely allowing them to dry up completely in a very old tray that i don't use i gather all kinds of opened and unopened condiments and all these crisp packets from the multi pack into this basket neat and tidy so this is how i have arranged in the deep shelf in an open style in a u shape for a very easy reach out rather than stacking them up front and back cereal boxes on this side to a traveling tea pot kit to a popcorn basket with additional gaskets on top to the crisp basket to a nippet maker spare jug to a tiffin carrier and a steel urn that i use during festivals and the tray with all the condiments in the top shelf which is quite narrow i managed to fit in tins popcorn packs chakli mould diya that i used during diwali to using that every space available at the back to keep the hand blender let's just use up the walls as well <laughs> i'm using a command hook on the side of the wall this fabric pouch holds bags compressing them and also very easy to reach and pull one bag at a time i use the ikea idea to stack all kitchen napkins kitchen towels muslin cloth i have opened one at a time and placing it inside so that i can pull them individually i could easily stack all of them small containers like these ones often go missing when we need them the most i use a small pop up basket and place them here i use these boxes to pack school lunches and keeping them like this is super helpful these jars are dried up time to use them i fill these jars up they are looking absolutely stunning all the efforts put in to wash them has all paid off with the end result and i didn't even pay a single penny to buy them so gather and start collecting any glass utensils that you can at home keep them same to create a set of your own that you don't have to keep those half filled bags anymore i have labeled every container can't wait to start using them
hack using a string and command hooks to hang cling film rolls, kitchen rolls or kitchen foil. I basically just tied a knot on either side and hooked it up to the command hooks with the string holding the roll. How cool is this? On the side of the shelf, I place a blue tag and a piece of paper and a pen to write down straight away when anything finishes in the kitchen. A shopping list ready to go. I have a plank of wood from the shed that I am planning to use as a trolley today. The only thing that I have invested here are for these wheels that I bought from IKEA. My husband Santosh helped me to fix these wheels on all the corners and now it is ready to roll. Now the main idea here is to keep it right underneath the deep space to pull out and tuck in anything kept on this trolley. I am using these old drawers. Let's admit the fact that we all have those odd shaped boxes at home that we regularly use. I stack them up one inside the other and keep them in these drawers creating like a compartment and in another drawer I place the big packs which are not opened yet. Onto the trolley goes these drawers and in they go. It works just perfect to what I had thought. I am using five command hooks on the door to hang aprons. So happy, so pleased with the pantry that I managed to create in this small area under the stairs, using and reusing all that I had at home. Now a quick overview just for you. I really hope you found this video useful and helpful to create and organize a pantry of your own.